Okay, real talk, AI is everywhere. People are using it to write essays, generate art, make music, even fake celebrities having babies. But what the heck is AI, really? If you've tried watching those overly technical explainer videos and ended up more confused than before, don't worry. This is AI for dummies, not because you're dumb, but because the tech world sucks at explaining things simply. Let's start basic. AI stands for artificial intelligence, which is just a fancy way of saying machines trying to be smart. But it's not one single robot brain. It's more like a family tree of nerdy cousins. AI equals the big umbrella. Machine learning equals one branch. Deep learning equals a smaller branch under that. Neural networks equals the leaves on that branch. Think of it like this. AI is the whole pizza. Machine learning is a slice. Deep learning is a topping. Neural networks, that's the secret sauce. AI doesn't just magically become smart. It learns like a toddler with unlimited flashcards and better memory. Here are the four main ways machines learn. Supervised learning, you show it tons of examples and it learns from them. Like teaching it, hey, this is a cat. This is also a cat. Now tell me what this one is. Unsupervised learning, no labels. It just groups things on its own. Imagine giving it a bag of mixed socks and saying, figure it out. Semi-supervised learning, some labels, mostly chaos. You give it three socks labeled blue and 97 socks with nothing, and it still tries to sort them anyway. Reinforcement learning, trial and error. It learns by messing up. This is how AI learns to play games or drive a car without crashing, eventually. Reinforcement learning is like training your dog, except the dog is trying to beat Super Mario while eating treats. There are two types of AI when it comes to how they use what they've learned. Discriminative AI answers questions. Is this a cat or a dog? Generative AI writes a new cat, wearing sunglasses, in the matrix. Discriminative AI is like your friend who always knows the answer. Generative AI is like your creative friend who says, okay, but what if the cat was also a time traveler? Examples, discriminative spam filter, facial recognition, generative chat GPT, Dolly, AI music, video creators. All right, now it gets fun. Here is what AI can do today. Yes, right now, and it's wild. Tool examples, text to text, ChatGPT, Bard. Ask it to write your essay, rewrite your resume, or plan your vacation. Text to image, Dali, Midjourney. Type, a duck dressed as Batman, and boom, there it is. Text to video, Runway, Pika. It's like movie trailers on command. Text to music, Mubert, Suno. AI music for your YouTube channel, done. Text to task, AI that writes emails, summarizes meetings, books flights. AI has gone from cute chatbot to Swiss army knife for your brain. You've probably heard this term thrown around, LLMs. It stands for large language model. But what does that mean? An LLM is an AI trained on billions of words from the internet. It learned how language works by analyzing patterns, like how you learn grammar by reading books. Then it's fine-tuned for specific tasks, like answering questions or writing code. Think of it like this. Pre-training is teaching your dog to sit. Fine-tuning is teaching your dog to bring you snacks when you're sad. AI's not just in labs anymore. It's in the real world, quietly running the show. Healthcare, diagnosing diseases. Retail, suggesting what you'll buy next. Finance, spotting fraud education, personalized tutoring, marketing, writing ad copy, headlines, even memes. If you've seen a product ad that weirdly knew what you wanted, that was probably AI. Is AI scary? Kinda. But also, not in the way sci-fi movies show. Concerns. Job automation, bias in models, 
misinformation, privacy leaks. But used right? It's a powerful tool, like a chainsaw. Dangerous if misused, but amazing in the hands of a pro. So there you have it, AI for dummies. You now understand more than 90% of people scrolling Twitter with hot takes. Let me know in the comments what part blew your mind. And if you want to follow up where I use these tools in real time, hit like and subscribe. We're just getting started.